Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode of Is It Film Photography or Is It Memes? Who cares? It sucks either way. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, I figured it was inevitable. Time to review Cinestill 800T's less respected brother, 50D. The D stands for... It stands for daylight. I've never actually shot Cinestill 50D before. Well, that's not true. Damn, starting this video off with a lie already. Back in the day, I shot a video pushing Cinestill 50D somewhere it never should have gone. I pushed it three stops as an experiment. And yeah, spoiler alert, it wasn't pretty. Anyway, my buddy Caleb and I were recently in Sedona, Arizona for a business trip. And by a business trip, I mean not a business trip at all. What is this moment? As the day got going, we realized it was time to rock out with our stocks out. I loaded up some Cinestill 50D. Whoa, this film's like mm -hmm. blue. There's really only one camera for the job that day, the Leica M6, because as far as cameras go, this one just f I would heard about an awesome, not so secret anymore cave in the area and so naturally we set out to find it. Cinestill 50D seemed like it'd be a really good choice for some nice landscape shots because as far as film stocks go, it seems like it's a little more saturated than some others. So I brought none other than the 50D in my camera and a thirst for adventure, which would soon turn into a thirst for water. It was nearly 100 degrees out, so to avoid an imminent heat death, I stepped out in my tightest outfit looking like a foreskin. We hit the trailhead and immediately things were off to a rocky start because there were a lot of rocks. Cinestill 50D is obviously a 50 ISO film. With an ISO that low, it means that the film stock needs a healthy supply of light, more specifically bright daylight. Luckily for us, we're just dumb enough to shoot in harsh midday light, which is really only ever a good idea if you want your photos to look like shit. Being 50 ISO, in my opinion, makes this film stock somewhat inflexible for shooting. However, some of the benefits of a lower ISO film are that the grain is theoretically not as abundant and that the rendering is a bit more saturated than other higher ISO film stocks. A good example would be this shot. The colors are quite vivid. In the crazy Arizona heat, we accidentally went off trail and started hallucinating from dehydration. We both imagined an oasis of film stocks that were reasonably priced. It was beautiful. But in that moment, we knew we had to be dreaming and reality soon dick kicked us sober. We also thought that we had heard someone howling like a wolf. I don't know. I actually really like this shot for some reason. It's kind of creepy in like a Blair Witch kind of way. If this photo is any indication, I think the latitude on this film is pretty good. But then again, it should be good. Cinestill 50D is repackaged Kodak Vision 3 motion picture stock. Motion picture stock was designed to be the best of the best, giving cinematographers the latitude of somewhere around 16 stops of light. So naturally it translates pretty well for still photography.
In the cave, we met a guy who told us that he climbed to the top of the rock wall, did coyote howls, and then push-ups for some reason. Was he hitting on us? We're still not sure. Thank you. See you guys later. Anyway, after we smoked through our film, it was time to head back. Someone told us that there's actually a clear and visibly marked trail that somehow we had completely missed. So it was nice not to have to scramble over boulders on the way back. A few things you might have noticed in some of the photos is this orange glow. This is called halation, and you might be familiar with it from Cinestill 800T, but it's the same thing here. For 50D, Cinestill removes an anti-halation layer from the film, and yes, the process they do does look exactly like prosciutto and cheese. The layer is called the remjet layer, and it prevents other artifacts, like static, from appearing. Halation might seem not as prominent on 50D as it does on 800T, but my theory on that is that it's because 50D is shot prominently in the daytime. We don't get bright hits of highlights contrasted against a dark background like we do with 800T, which is dominantly shot at night. So in short, the halations on 50D are just as prominent, but the conditions in which 50D is generally shot in make them appear a bit less. If you want to shoot this film, but you don't like the halation look, what the hell's the matter with you? You could try shooting Cinestill 50D at 100 or 200 ISO and then pushing it one or two stops respectively in development. Anyway, the hike was over and when we got back to the car, we butt chugged a hell of a lot of water. <coughs> ah! Oh my God. Back at the hotel, we were a little concerned that we had gone a little overboard and were too well hydrated now, so we had a few beers to balance it out while the light was perfect. The next day, we rolled into a nearby town and I bullshitted my way through the rest of the 50D in my camera. This town was kind of a relic of Route 66 and it was pretty cool. There was a lot of old stuff there. It was also overcast and historically I have found myself struggling to shoot in flat light. To be fair though, I struggle with most things. To my surprise, and maybe to yours as well, I found that Cinestill 50D actually looks pretty good in flat lighting. Maybe the boost in saturation breathes life into an otherwise dull image. Or maybe film is just a total f***ing toss up and sometimes you get a pretty picture, but the rest of the time it looks like ass. So one more thing I noticed is that this film appears to be a little more grainy than one would expect from a 50 ISO film. I think that might be because it was designed to be developed in ECN2 chemicals and not C41. Developing isn't really my world, but from what I've heard from others, ECN2 is kind of like the meat lovers combo to C41's pineapple pizza. But enough about pizza. Before we wrap up the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you need a place to store all of your work and then subsequently show it off to your friends and foes, 
then look no further. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that features many tools for photographers to build a beautiful portfolio online. I constantly update my own portfolio with new work and rearranging the display order is super simple with Squarespace's native user interface. Among other things, you can also set up a one-stop shop for any prints, zines, or books that you might want to sell. And if you're having trouble getting the ball rolling, Squarespace has around the clock 24-7 customer support. Best of all, Squarespace doesn't require any patches, plugins, downloads, or super long calls with customer service to get going. It's all ready to go right out of the box. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash grainy days. And if you use the code grainy days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Well, that's about it. Will I shoot Cinestill 50D again? Hell no, you couldn't pay me to shoot it. Just kidding, I might. Especially because they make it for 120, and that's kinda dank. I wouldn't really say it's an everyday use kind of film. The colors are quite vivid. But then again, I've shot so much portrait in my lifetime that my sense of color can't really be trusted now, can it? The colors are actually quite nice. I'd go so far as to say it's even on the same level as Ektar 100 in terms of saturation. Here's the thing though, at about $13 a roll, it's not really the film stock that I'm going to reach for due to its limited ISO. I mean, 50 is really down there. If I were still young and felt invincible, I would probably push it a stop in the future. Not only would that suppress some of the halation, but it would also open up the stock from 50 to 100 ISO. However, I really do like the halation look and I changed my mind a lot, so I'll probably give it another go around at some point. I give this film stock a solid 85 halations out of 100 rim jets. So what else is there to say about 50D. Nothing. Bye.